Zuluk, a place where nature is at its best, where the roads keep bending on the mountains without any boundaries, where the birds are seen to hang out in numbers, where the prayer flags keep waving and keep blessing you, where even the gods enjoy the snowfall. So come and let's take a tour of this wonderful hamlet in Sikkim, India. We are in Zuluk and such a nice weather to be in. The complete Kanchenjunga range is visible from here. The silk route is grandly viewed from this spot. So I am a few kilometers above Zuluk and this video is all about the silk route. The silk route meaning the route which was used many years before, hundreds of years before for trade between India and then into China and further. So, if you have not subscribed to my videos, my channel in YouTube, then I will request you to please click the subscribe button on the right bottom corner of your screen. If you have done, then thanks a lot. We took the train from Shialda to NJP station and then hired a car to start the journey of our silk route. The route through Sevok Road is absolutely beautiful with the greenery all around. And then you run along the magnificent Tista River by your side. The first major stop of the journey after entering Sikkim via Rongpo would be at Rongli, which is approximately 104 kilometers from NJP station. It will take you around 4 hours to reach here. This is the place from where you will get the passes done to enter into the restricted area of Silk Route. We are in Rongli right now. And we are facing certain issues like uh, because of extreme uh, snowfall, we are not getting the passes up till Nathang. Uh, they are only giving passes uh, till Thambi viewpoint and back. Uh, so there is a certain change in the schedule which needs to be done. Let's see uh, how we can manage the rest of the days. We have four days in hand. We had plans to go to Luthung, then Nathang, then come back to Rongli. So there needs to be uh, certain changes now. And this is at Rongli Bajar now. After spending the night at Padam Chen, whose video link is shared separately in the description below, we geared up for our journey to Zuluk the next morning. With the rain and snowfall in forecast, we were in for some real special treat.
in Zuluk we are staying in this Zuluk residency which you can see and it's quite a wonderful uh, location because the complete valley in front is open uh, from these rooms so you get wonderful views towards uh, <coughs> this side so let's go and check about how the rooms are what facilities are available and everything else let's go We are staying in this room, so let's check it out, 102. Quite spacious. Three people can sleep here and one over there. Let's <coughs> take a view of the scene you can see from here. This is on one side, complete glass panes. This whole valley over here and on the other side again it's completely open this is only the first story on the second story also you have rooms so this is like the south and uh, the sun sets over there and rises from back over there so you're not able to view the sunrise or sunset from here but Nonetheless, it's a gorgeous view and if somebody is interested in birding then there are a whole lot of birds that come over here in the morning and in the evening. So this is quite a vantage point I believe. There is charging facility. But this place has got scarcity of electric supply. It's mainly in the evenings that you get to have some kind of electricity. Uh, geysers are also provided over here. But it is subject to availability of current. <coughs> Once again, the view. It kept raining and snowing the whole day. It felt like a dream to watch the white snow fall on the backdrop of lush greenery. Never did I knew that nature's own canvas could be so much stunning. Amidst all of this, the weather cleared a bit and we got our chance to sneak out and explore the higher altitudes.
it is raining and snowing so heavily that we have we have to uh, stop a bit below Thambi viewpoint. Although the wonderful crisscross nature of the road can be seen from here also, but from Thambi viewpoint the view is much better. Uh, Zuluk is over there, and it has started snowing so heavily that nothing much can be seen. Just check over here. This area, Lungthung and Avab is fully covered with snow now. The clouds have moved in real fast, so all the tourists are coming in here and hanging out over here. It was a complete whiteout, with only few feet of visibility. But by God's grace, the weather turned around miraculously, and we proceeded to even higher altitudes and we are blessed with stunning views. But everything has to come to an end, and so did our tour also. Time had come to say goodbye to the hills, to say goodbye to the beautiful birds, to the simple people of the hills. Like someone had said, we left nothing behind but footsteps. We took nothing back but memories.